What's good, Bless Our Podcast? Y'all, um, before I start this video, I just want to give you guys a, um, just, Listen. I just want to let y'all know right now. I'm going to be interrupting this video a lot. So whatever y'all got to say, save it. Also, I want to thank you guys for supporting the podcast and also subscribing to the channel. But I'm going to just let you know right now. This video, I'm going to be interrupting a lot. And I'm going to tell you right now. This shit is probably going to irritate your soul like it's about to do mine. Now, again, I've never watched this video. This woman is 61 years old, full of energy. No cookie until marriage. Unlike, as if anybody wants that old, dusted, full, dust-filled coochie cat, you call a damn vagina. Um, Once a man who believes in what she believes in. Now, I've never watched this video. I looked at the comments. What are your three flaws? I'm not a fixer. I'm spontaneous. And I'm empathetic. What the fuck does that mean? Real flaws. Talk too much. Not as humble as she thinks. Avoid answering the direct question. Even the elderly are delusional. 61 years old. Single at 61. Doesn't listen. Delusional. Sitting this motherfucker right here ain't worth a damn. <laughs> this thing is an ox. A little bit of oxtails, curry goat, and red fried snapper. Boy, you good luck with that. And then people who answer questions in a roundabout way irritate my soul as it's about to do mine. So I already got a feeling I'm about to go the fuck off. <sighs> Just answer the damn question. All these women want God, God fearing men. That practice their face like them, but none of them want the men in the church who follow, who will follow, because those guys are not exciting. You can't make this up. Yeah, I got a feeling I'm go off. So respectfully, if you don't like what the French toast I'm about to say, take your hind legs over to somebody else's channel because I'm about to go the fuck off. And respect to all the elders that watch my channel. Just know, I'm about to do what everybody else needs to do when I'm talking about your age group. I love my elders, but this one's about to catch a whole lot of hell from me. Again, fair warning. Let's start. God help me. You ready? Yes. Hello, Kendra. Hi, put the camera in your face. There it is. What's your name, love? My name is Christine. Christine. Christine, where are you calling me from? I am calling you from Rochester, New York. Okay, how old are you? I am 61 young. 61 young? What you do for a living? Bitch, you are 61 years old. Your ass is old. You are over six decades old. You are older than hell. <laughs> Sit your old ass down. Talk about no cookie into marriage. As if that cookie was still wet. I am an office manager for the state of New York. Great. She's a prison bitch. Office manager. State of New York. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. Okay, so I had two. Um, we had two older children. Son that's in heaven. Um, would have been 32, and I have a daughter that's 28, and I'm going to be a grandma. <laughs> Did she say what I think she just said? Hold on. 32, and I have a daughter that's 28, and I'm going to be a grandma. Did she say a grandma? Oh, damn. Here we go. Glamma. Well, sorry about your son that's in heaven. And you. have you ever been married? Yes, I have. I was married for six, one, and seven years. Mm -hmm. I went to get divorced. He cheated. I wanted to work it out. 
I wanted to work it out because we had a brand no baby less than two weeks old and a three and a half year old son, but he didn't want to work it out. So, you know, I forgave him. We're good. We're good um, friends, you know, with boundaries, of course. He probably got sick of your shit. That's why he cheated. Because if you say that you wanted to work it out because you had kids and he said no, you was a hell raising. So we already know why he left. Your ass is crazy. Yeah. So now he's stuck that he's in love. Whatever. <laughs> he's what? He's stuck that he's in love. You know, you never miss what you have until when it's gone, right? Ooh, okay. Chris. So is it Kristen? Christine. 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 Christine yeah. Rochester, New York, office manager, 61, was once married, mom to two kids, one is in heaven. Do you believe in zodiac signs? What's your zodiac? I don't believe in it, but I'm born on Christmas. I guess you could say a Capricorn, whatever that means. That's fine if you don't believe in it. <laughs> what kind of man are you looking for now, Christine? I'm sorry to interrupt this, but am I the only one that's aggravated by these big ass earrings? And this damn, and this damn hair that looks like fucking noodles. Like, it looks like ghost pepper Cheetos. Like, I ain't even fucking playing. <laughs> Beautiful, Kendra. Okay, uh, the kind of man that definitely, number one, first and foremost, he has to have a relationship with the Lord. Exactly. All right. Okay. Character. Core values are very important to me. Um, character. Trustworthiness. Definitely can pray for me. And he has to have purpose. You know, where do you see yourself in two to five years? You know, um, I'm well to do. I have a very happy life. I travel. So, you know, I want somebody to either meet me where I'm at or higher. Nothing below. Okay. What mm -hmm. are your deal breakers? Oh, you said travel as in money? Um, I'm sorry, said it again. We'll get to that. What's your deal breakers? Okay, my deal breaker is definitely somebody like these people say they're spiritual or different. I don't do different religion. You know, I, I have a lot of different friends and we respect each other, what we, what we relationship or what we do, but it definitely has to be a Christian man, a man that believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, he, all that, you know, that right there. We have to be on the same page. That's a deal breaker. Um, okay. Also, definitely, I don't do men that are um, uh, separated, no separation. Um, they got to be divorced or single. Um, definitely, I don't do cheating. Or people that are not trustworthy. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Should he look a certain way? Well, another part I didn't tell you. I am a health and fitness coach. I climb hills. I do pull up. And here we go with the bullshit. I'm trying to go on a damn story. Instead of answering the fucking question like, never mind. Oh, God. Oops. Um, I mean, I'm 6'1 young, but I have energy of like 32, 35. So, you know, um, of course, you know, uh, I do want him to look good. You know what I mean? I don't do the waterfalls. I'm not going to climb the waterfalls after marriage, okay? Um, you know, I like to work out. I like, you know, nature. I'm originally from Jamaica, so I'm very, very active. So, you know, a man that is in good health. Takes care of himself, not a self care. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, hmm. So, I believe that a man should be a protector and provider. Okay. Um, definitely, uh, you know, we date, collect information, that kind of thing, courtship, say if it gets to marriage. Of course, um, Let's say a man that gets with me get an automatically upgrade. Okay. I, I, whatever I know how to cultivate and to build and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, plus I'm a health and fitness coach as well. Any man that gets with me is going to automatically elevate. Says the bitch calling a damn 
online dating show to try to find a man that's going to take her serious. The same woman that couldn't even get her ex to come back to her after he cheated and she said she wanted to work out, work wanted to work to, uh wanted to work it out with him. He left you. Oh my Jesus. You saying you you saying you love the Lord and you love Jesus. Well, Jesus needs to help you because I don't think anybody in his right rabbit ass mind is going to deal with you. I I respectfully I say that what the fuck is going on here? You know, I'm Jamaican, so uh okay. I'm not gonna say anymore, but that right there, okay. So um right now, what you trying to say? What you applying? <laughs> hey, I like what I like, Kendra. <laughs> I'm spoiled. So I is there a money to... requirement? Um, let's say this. Um, he has to be taking care of himself, well balanced by himself, right? Managing his life. Okay. Well, I would say, mm, Huh, money requirement. I mean, no potentials. He has to be already functioning in what he has. Okay, I would say no lower, no lower than no lower than seventy. Okay, do you me know. a favor. You're too close to the middle. You... Oh my god, I got a phone. I'm getting mad. You move the okay, camera right there. Is That's that better? better? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right, so no lower than 70. Let's yeah. do the Kendra cam. Okay. Oh, boy. I hope I don't knock this thing over. Okay. Here we go. We're going to try to do it. Well, okay. They always tell me. Okay, so I got on my Jamaican shirt. Let me see. You, you got to move over to the side, honey. We can't see you, Kristen. Hold on, Kendra. One minute. Well, I'm the man <laughs> Baby girl, you got to move to the opposite direction. To the opposite direction. Okay. Let me see something. Let's see if we can. I don't know if we you gotta can You got to be able to see your legs. You can, okay, hold on. I got to stand on something. Hold on. What are you going to stand on? Okay. Can you bring on. the camera down? Okay, so hold on. Uh, stand it out. Wait, there. See my legs? I mean... Okay, we got you, girl. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice. That just made me want to go drink some iced tea. And splash that bitch in my eyes. Ma'am, you over here looking like a corpse walking. It's a matter of damn sense. Over here looking like a damn corpse walking over here talking about, I look good for my age. I'm I'm 61 years young. Really? Okay. 61 young, okay? Yes. 61 young. 61. Stop with that damn lie. I pull up, do weights, I do everything, okay? And I'm plant-based. Mm-hmm. Okay, Kristen, yep. don't forget, don't be too close. For you niggas talking about I get unlimited goat, uh, curry goat, and damn uh, jerk chicken, uh, you stupid motherfucker, she's plant-based, meaning your ass is going to get some vegan shit. Okay, this way. Honey. There you go. All right, yeah. Kristen, Thank when you. was your last relationship, baby girl? Okay, so when I went home to Jamaica, 2014, I had a little fling. <laughs> yes. That was your last relationship? Well, that was a, was that a relationship? Mm, I wouldn't call it that. I tried, well, you know, I tried to make it work because, of course, I'm from Jamaica. So, you know, you kind of understand. But, you know, it's just like, he was younger. I mean, I do like my guys younger, okay? Because I like, I have a lot of energy. So, um, yeah. He was younger, so, you know, he wanted to come to America, send him money, then he took it and gave it to his mother. I'm like, I'm done. Because 
it's hard to work money in, in, in America. You don't pick it up, you know. So that was that. So it's 2014, so 10 years ago. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? 2014. So 10 years ago. So you haven't did anything in 10 years. Right. So are you waiting? Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> so no, what were okay. you going to say? So I believe in um, abstinent unto marriage. Okay. Um, I really believe that. Okay. So I am a devoted Christian woman. Okay. Devoted. I love the Lord with all my heart, mind, and soul. That's how I live. Um, I love the fact that I have mental clarity. I'm in fullness of me. You know, I'm not, I'm not soul tied with anyone. I'm ready. Okay. Um, I feel like, okay. Uh, the Bible talks about, you know, honoring God in your body. Okay. I don't want to cheat on God. He doesn't cheat on me. You know what I mean? So I really feel that um, the man for me will respect my boundaries, will understand, you know, of course, he's going to be a Christian man too. So a virtuous woman, the Bible talks about who can find a virtuous woman. Okay. That's me. I lift weights. It's the same, the same. Ma'am, respectfully, don't nobody give a damn about that. Believe in your faith, do all this stuff. Nobody believes in nobody believes that virtuous shit no more. Most of the most women nowadays are not virtuous. So cut the crap. And honestly, that man can find something that's way younger than you. What is he gonna get out of you? A delusional ass woman that believes that she's everything under the damn sun. Endorphin, the same dopamine you get in sex. Same thing you do when you climb hill, lift weights, work out. You get that happy endorphin. It's the same thing. So I just renew my mind and I'm focused because I know my value and I know my worth and I'm not going to lay myself down. Okay. So, uh-uh. No, sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm real. <laughs> Okay. So, and the second woman I had tonight, she was 51, and she's but she's like I think four years or three years, almost four years in her journey. But she's also waiting for marriage, mm -hmm. and then so yeah. you won't have sex again unless you get married. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Let's just say it. She ain't gonna have sex for the rest of her life. Ain't nobody, ain't no man gonna come in and date this. And if he do, he a dummy. Okay. And if they don't, if they don't respect that, I'm fine with it. Ta-ta. No, nope, okay. because listen, God has been so good to me, Kendra. He's been so good to me. And to look the way I do at 61 young, have the body, have the mindset. You know, I do my CMOS. You know, I do, I have clients. You know what I mean? I live a happy life. But of course, I want to share my life with someone. Exactly. You know, I love men. I love my black brothers. You know what I mean? So I'm not missing out anything. I'm not all over the place. You know what I mean? And I don't want him to be all over the place. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, you know, I'm getting with someone and I'm thinking about, you know, somebody. I want to be focused. You understand? Let me ask you this. So in the 10 years that you've been on this journey, you mm -hmm. haven't found a man to in alignment with you in that way? Um, I talk to people, but see, I'm a very intellectual type of person. You know, you have to stimulate here first and you have to be driven. You have to have goals, you know, um, set, I'm, I'm very funny. I'm, I'm the life of the party girl. I could like, you know, so all of that, you know, I'm not looking to pull no weight. You know what I'm saying? I go on dates. Of course, men come at me all the time. You know, I'm humbled by it. Um, you know, but I'm just not willing to settle, you know? I'm just not settling to you. What who, is, who are you settling or is the man settling for you? Because we, if we go look at this from a, from a settling objective, um, the man will be settling for you. He's not going to be getting anything but a combative ass old woman. He's not getting nothing. That's worth anything at the end of the day. You're going to be a highly 
Mm, you're going to be a highly confrontational type of person that nobody wants to deal with. Then you're going to get mad at at the men for not wanting to date you. You're talking about no cookie before marriage. Let me ask you this. If you're saying no cookie for marriage, is that man that's the same age as you or a little bit younger than you, is he going to really choose you or is he going to go for a woman that's half your age if not younger? See, I don't want to. I don't want to actually have that conversation because y'all believe in y'all rabbit ass mind for some reason that y'all are the most sought after women. Speaking of which, I got to do a damn video about Vivica Fox at this point. What does settling mean to you? Settling to me is okay. Not to get with somebody that doesn't understand my core values, that don't understand, you know, who I am. You know what I mean? And respect that. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm very, very happy. You know, someone already has to be happy with himself. We come together and evolve together. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm at peace. Very peaceful. Very happy. Okay. Everybody, everybody always say, oh, I love your energy, whatever, you know. But, yeah. But I would love to be married. I am going to be married again. <laughs> okay. King of yeah. Job Birds. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, his name. It said, since you're all about God, how many churches have you visited the past 365 days to find your man of God? Well, first of all, Proverbs 18.22 tells me that a man that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor with the Lord, okay? I position myself. That ain't answering the goddamn question. How many churches have you been to? That's a simple answer. One, two, or three. Okay. I travel a lot. And I do, uh, I play tennis. I go to different events. Oh, I line dance, ballroom dance. I love to that. So I'm always positioning myself. I don't Do you go, go to church? I sure do. Okay. So basically, I've been to one church. And I'm trying to say everything under the sun that doesn't... That doesn't answer your question. I'm trying to bypass the question. And it's like, I'm, he's asking I'm how many you go to church. I guess he's asking how many churches have you visited um, in the last 365 days? Yeah, so, I mean, men are not just only in church. They're everywhere. Go to the grocery store. Well, Where? this is why, but I think, hold on, let's not miss the point I think he's making. Because you're, okay. you're not, yes, you want men. Yes, you want a man, but you want a particular man who is right. also in alignment to your walk with God and also right. in agreement and not having sex till you get married. So yes, right. men are everywhere, but you do got to know this is a, this type of man that you're describing, mm -hmm. the highest probability would be in church because you want a man that also believes oh, on his own saying. celibacy journey. I, yes. I Oh, okay. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, of course he's going to be a man that's of the same standard and they're out there. They are out there. I have a lot of girlfriends that have gotten married. Man, you know what? I believe in my heart to heart to heart that just they were the same. Story, they, wait, they, hold on, real quick. They were mm -hmm. your friends that also were celibate and so married. Yeah, yeah, and they met very nice men that you know that were also um, abstinent. It's called abstinent because celibacy is for nuns. They don't never gonna oh. have sex. Not okay. me. <laughs> They better be ready, okay, Kendra? Because I'm like, if you're not ready, I'm going to have to send you to boot camp. Hallelujah. <laughs> I told you, you shouldn't have went there. <laughs> I'm a lot of fun. I am. No, 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 no. I'm waiting only for a period of time. So, you know, No, yes. you've been waiting for 10 years. Yeah, but, you know, I don't. In the meantime, look okay, in the meantime, right? I've been working on myself. I have mentors, you know, I follow like uh, hardly initiated, you know, I, I learn and understand who I am as a queen, as a woman, my place, my role, what a, what a man is supposed to be according to the word. You know what I mean, it's there, you know, again, I'm not here for everybody. Okay. Everybody's not, not for me. 
I, everybody's not for me and, and, and I'm not for everybody. So everybody has their own lifestyle. I'm very happy, very content. I have a thriving life, excellent top bill health. I mean, everywhere I walk, no, no bragging or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? I'm bad. So I can wait. I can wait. Okay. I'm doing good. You know, very good in my job. I run the whole office. I have people that uh, reports to me. I do my. I help people get off their medication. You know, uh, diabetes, blood okay. pressure. I got you. I got you. Not, not to go okay. on tangent. Did I ask okay. you your three flaws? No, no, you didn't ask. What are your me three flaws? She literally just aggravated me with that whole explanation. Like I'm just like, bro, shut the fuck up. I swear, it's like trying to tell a boring ass story that nobody wants to listen to. Shut up. You're literally trying to explain to me some bullshit that you don't even damn understand your damn self. Shut up. Stop talking. You're just talking to hear your damn self talk. Like, just stop. Stop talking. Just mute. Damn. Okay. My three flaws is, okay, I'm working on it. Number one, I don't want no project. I am not a fixer. In the past, I used to be, but I learned now potential is not, you know, the man has to actually be into what he said he's doing, not telling me what he's going to do. You know what I mean? Not, not that he should be perfect, but definitely, number one, uh, no projects. I'm not fixing anybody because, you know, I'm very empathetic. I have a big heart, you know. I'm a giver, so that part, no, no projects. Number two, number two, um, number two is I'm very empathetic. So I learn to pray and discern and, and understand where people are coming from. That she don't want a project, but yeah, she's a. This is aggravating me now. All right. Um, number three is, um, okay, I'm, I'm very spontaneous, really extremely spontaneous. Okay. So in the fact that, you know, if somebody say, oh, let's do so-and-so, you know, I have to make sure that, you know, of course, my office is set. You know, if they need me to serve at church, is good. My baby, my daughters, who's having a baby, everything is all set. I can't just abandon and go because I'm into you. That kind of thing. You understand what I mean? Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Okay. A man will be extremely blessed to be with me and happy to be with me. Why? Because I am an encourager. I encourage. I support. I know my place. Okay. And I, I, I don't have the snapback. You know what I mean? I, I listen. I'm humble. I'm very, very humble. Right. Ma'am, you are not even, you are not, uh, you're not, you are not a humble person. If you're humble, I'm Holly Berry. You are not humble worth a nothing. Oh my gosh. But in the same token, I you can't run over me. Okay. Um, also, I, I'm beautiful. I'm very beautiful. I'm an excellent cook, all kind of cuisine, Jamaica and everything, America and everything, plant based, you name it. Uh, you know, yes, yes, honey. Okay. And there we have it. You're 61. What is the age range you want to date? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would say from oh, la, 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 46, 46, I might even do 45. All depends on the maturity and if he's built. 45, no more than, uh, you know, men my age lately been looking really good. I see some nice guys that take care of themselves that look good, you know. Um, so 40, eh. 46, do I say no more than mm, mm, about 60? Yeah. So not even your age, 61? Uh, um, it, it's got it. 
if he looks good and look at the energy, so the thing about it is, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not looking to sit and rock in the chair. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like to work out, lift weights and stuff. This woman is an insult. Like she literally just making me mad. She she making me madder. If you want me to be completely honest, like. Oh, like this is the type of woman that you just run away from, from all age groups. Like that, and I like to be on the move. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear nobody okay. say, "Oh, I'm tired." That kind of thing. All right, so forty-six to sixty. All right, honey, how can the guy reach out to you, baby girl? He won't, because I will be a damn. Fool to let. Matter of fact, I'll be a damn fool to let this mo let somebody hear her shit. Christine Foster on the app and Christine Foster also on Facebook. Yep. I just keep. Um, my room. I got a question for you. We got yes. a question for you. Um, yeah. Your favorite here, your favorite here, Doctor Tish said, "At sixty-one, why are you concerned about a man having goals and being ambitious?" What life goes on, life is evolving, okay? Um, you know, what you meet in a person is not what they're going to be five years on. You know, you want to do different things. You want to keep... Ma'am, if you meet a man at 60, in five years, he won't be here, maybe. The fuck are you talking about? I thought I thought being, being an elder, being in your 60 meant... You looking for somebody to settle down with and settle down with and enjoy life together, the rest of what you have left on this planet. That's what I thought. This brother we're talking about, I work out, I do all this, I wanna do it. okay, I understand it, but you looking for all this shit in a, in a man and you are sixty one years old. Moving. Nobody sits still, you know what I mean? You wanna you want to keep the relationship, the marriage, or the friendship spicy. You know, you want to, I want to help him accomplish his goals. Of course, he's going to have purpose. He's going to know what he wants to do. Of course, I know what I want to do already. And I'm already doing most of those things. So I want to have something. So, okay, the Bible said that women are help meet, right? They're helpers. So if you don't have something for me to help him with, I'm going to get bored. I'm going to get my own projects. I'm going to do what I need to do. And you won't have my full undivided attention. Okay. And that's why he needs to be ambitious at 61. Um, I have this. Do you want me? I don't know. I'll read it. Okay. We got this. West sure. Mode 40 said, the 45-year-old delegation says, no thanks. We don't want a 61-year-old Especially one that doesn't have sex. <laughs> you know what? When you don't understand the value of a woman and, and what it is to be virtuous, then you will make a statement like you do. So, Ladies. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask y'all a question. And this is, this is me asking you this question. Does this woman offer anything other than a nuisance? Other than being a nuisance? If you were a man that was 45, would you be looking for a woman that's 61 years old? If you was a man that was 60, would you be looking for a 60-year-old or 61-year-old woman? Comment down below because apparently this woman thinks that she's well deserving of all the things that she's asking for so i want you i want you guys i want you ladies and i want you gentlemen i want you to answer this question down below because apparently i'm missing something here but that's gonna be it for this damn video this woman is aggravating literally aggravated my damn soul Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, subscribe to the I'll see you guys on the flip side and thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.